Hey, what's up everybody? Hans here. Hey, uh, before the video starts, just want to again thank you guys for the continued support, checking out the videos. Uh, appreciate you guys, uh, you know, being on this journey with me. Um, so we're, again, going to be dropping a video this evening on the Cream of Kentucky. We've got a special guest uh, that's going to be joining me on, on this. Uh, bear with us. You know, again, we're just having a little fun here. Uh, but it, it is my wife. Um, she's not a... Not a big bourbon drinker, not a big uh, whiskey drinker, not a big drinker at all in general. But, uh, you know, she came out and uh, joined me for this one. Uh, so, again, had a little bit of fun. Um, you know, just can't say enough good about about her. She's uh, the mother of my seven children, right? Uh, been married now for 14 years. Um, you know, again, lived in a couple different states, several different houses. Um uh, you know, but we're, we're still able to go out and have a little good time here. Uh, so, again, just I appreciate her coming out this evening to kind of be a part of this video. Hope you guys uh, enjoy, the, you know, her her reaction to, to trying the uh, cream of Kentucky here. Um, but, again, if you uh, enjoy these videos, hit that like button for me. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Show me the support. Um, I, I, I enjoy bringing these videos to you guys. I enjoy going out and trying to find good good bourbons that you know that aren't going to break the bank um but at the same time i enjoy finding good bourbons that 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 are a little bit more on the you know hard to find uh and and maybe sometimes a little more pricey right but uh we can't have everything we want when we want it so we do what we can when the time uh you know presents itself and uh those are decisions that we all have to make. So anyways, uh, appreciate you checking out the video. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you here on the video. Hey, what's up everybody? Hans here. Doing a video this evening on a latest pickup on a cream of Kentucky. This is a Kentucky straight rye whiskey, bottle and bond. Um, so seen quite a bit about this one, heard quite a bit about it. Uh, not ever had it though. And came across it the other day here in the Tampa Bay area at Gasper's Liquor Shop. Uh, again, uh, if you're in the Tampa Bay area, check them out. Uh, really awesome uh, store. A lot of great options. A lot of great uh, store picks. And uh, highly recommend checking them out if you're in the area. So a little bit about this one. And again, I've not had this one, but... Uh, it's the Cream of Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey Bottle and Bond, 100% Ryman Rye, estate grown, distilled, aged, and bottled at Kentucky Artisan Distillery in Crestwood, Kentucky. Uh, these are limited to only 70 barrels, so it is a bit of a unique uh, rye whiskey. So definitely looking forward to trying this this evening. And uh, I've got two glasses. So... We've got a little special guest this evening. Uh, my wife's going to join me. Uh, she's not big into to the rye and the bourbons and the whiskeys, but um, she is joining me this evening, and so she'll be making a cameo into this. Um, again, as I've told you guys many times, I'm not a professional. You know, I'm still working on picking up all the different notes and flavors on these. So, you know, my reviews definitely are not in depth. Um, but I, I do like to let you guys know if it's, if it's something worth putting on your, your, your shopping list, uh, or not. So tonight we're just going to get a, uh, a visit from my wife and, uh, just kind of get, get her honest feedback again, not being a, uh, bourbon whiskey, uh, uh, enthusiast, so to speak, but I'm glad to have her out here this evening to try this one out. So, um, you know, as always, I like to share the cork pop with you guys. And uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. I removed the wrapper here just now. And uh, we'll go ahead and pop the cork here. So, uh, nice little nice little pop there. Good, uh, good suction to the bottle. So the notes that I'm getting are very nice. And uh, definitely looking forward to trying this again. I've been heard quite a bit about this one. Um, 
other other folks out there have done reviews on these so it was a good pickup uh, I did I did also have to pick up a store pick while I was there so a couple other bottles that we'll be doing kind of some future some future reviews on We've got the Corazon tequila again I know this isn't a bourbon but they are finished in Weller barrels so wanted to give that a shot it's a single barrel uh, tequila 80 proof definitely uh, looking forward to trying that one and then Old Soul this is a store pick and uh, I'll tell you what I tried this one at the store comes in 119 proof 119.9 proof uh, store pick and uh, it was very good a very good pour so be doing a future a uh, couple future videos on those as well this evening we're going to stick to the cream of Kentucky so I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit up here and we'll be sharing our thoughts with you I'm going to edit this so okay. it's okay back All right, everybody. So, got uh, our Glen Cairns here uh, with the cream of Kentucky. And again, this is a bottled and bond, so 100 proof. Uh, this is a straight rye whiskey. Um, so, we're going to give this a shot. I'll tell you, like, for me, on the nose. So, again, my wife's not, you know, she's out here supporting what, what I like to do, which I appreciate, but. So I'm picking up like some sweet notes like caramel, which again, as normal, that's kind of my go-to when I pick that up in these. <laughs> um, so we'll go ahead and give it a try here. Um, again, we're here to have a little fun and share our thoughts and our feedback on the cream of Kentucky. So let's give it a try. <laughs> What's your thoughts? It's got a kick. It's got a kick? Yeah. Spicy. Spicy? No sweetness? Mm -mm. No. I get some of the... Uh, you definitely get a little bit of kick in the back, but uh, mm. across the palate for me on the front end and, and on the finish right now, I'm getting a lot of that sweet uh, brown sugary caramel. It's a nice, it is it is kind of a creaminess uh, to, you know, hence the name, but uh, it's a nice, it's a nice meld. You do pick up a little bit of that the alcohol uh, up front, it kind of shoots up your nose a little bit. Little but uh, a little peppery. So uh, I don't know. What's your what's your thoughts? Do you like this? I know you haven't had too many. Uh, my wife has had the stag here. So for shits and giggles, you know, what do you think about that compared to stag? I, Which would you prefer? I don't know. I'd have to try that again. Well, I'm not going to. But <laughs> <laughs> I, so. I like it. It's just a little um, strong. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a kick. Well, yeah. Stag comes in at 130 proof. And the Cream of Kentucky is 100 proof. So um, Stag's got a tendency to be a little bit hot as well sometimes. Um, Cream of Kentucky, I, I think it came in a little bit hot uh, on the initial. But as it kind of sat for me, it was a little bit more sweet and savory. Um, and now I'm kind of going back to the nose. It smells even better than it did before. So anyways, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for trying the cream of Kentucky. Uh, thanks for joining us. Hope you guys, you know, are lucky enough to come across a bottle of this. I would recommend it. Um, I've not seen it too many places actually. So again, uh, Gaspers. Liquor shop here in the Tampa Bay area is the first place I've seen that on the shelf. All right, so with that, we'll leave you uh, again. 
best of luck out there. If you come across the Kentucky, if you're in the Tampa Bay area, uh, they did have a couple more of these on the counter uh, when I was there Friday. Uh, they may have had more behind the counter, but thanks for stopping by. Catch you on the next one.